really vet people's careers and make sure that there's like a substantial amount of success in the fitness work that they did. And now accordingly, you know, a substantial amount of business success that they've had in not just their own business. Cause I think a lot of coaches talk too much about their own business, but I want to know, you know, have you been successful in helping fit pros do what you tell them that you're going to do? Boarding, Cause that's kind of important. Okay. Okay, cool. So yeah, we'll just go launch into it and then I'll do the read in yeah. and then we'll just go right into it. That way we can keep it natural and organic, okay. uh, which is the way I like to, to keep it anyway. And then we'll just Bam. let it flow from there. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Let's do it. Hey, what's up everybody. And welcome to masters in fitness business podcast, where you get to stand on the shoulders of giants. And today we have a giant coming to you. Uh, his name is AJ. AJ Morton, and he runs Fit Pro Mentorship Review. And I'm really curious uh, to dig into this because you all you see all of these, you know, uh, guys on the internet or and girls on the internet saying, oh, I can get you 10 new customers, $100,000 in a month, all this stuff. And what he does is it's like Yelp for mentors. So you can kind of cut through all the bullshit and get to the real nitty gritty and find the coaches who will really move the needle. So AJ, thanks for joining us, man. Thank you so much, Jim. You pretty much nailed it. <laughs> That's yeah. exactly what I do. <laughs> well, you know, um, you know, I was really excited to have you on because I, I, I bitch all the time about like all of these in, you know, guys that, you know, take a, a weekend click funnels course or, mm. or something else, or they just have one, one gimmick they don't have a whole overall strategy or grasp for the industry they just have one gimmick and then they go out and they charge you know huge amounts of money for not much value right yeah. so i i your your services are sorely needed in the fitness industries and for fit pros so we can find the real coaches that really move the needle so Tell, tell the listeners how you got into this and how it grew and developed and all that good stuff. Yeah, totally. Okay. Thank you for that. So, um, I, so for listeners who don't know, I've been in the, in the fitness industry for 14 years now and, um, kind of like, I would say in the semi beginnings of that, about four or five years in, um, I was looking just like anybody else to take my fitness game to the next level. You know, I had a wife and two kids. And I still have a wife and two kids, obviously, but I, I, I had one then too. And um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I was living in Chicago at the time, which is where I'm from. And I was renting space out of a studio and I was running a small group women's weight loss program. And, um, you know, just like anybody else, I wanted to take my business, you know, and, and turn it into something that I could really be proud of, something that wouldn't take up all my time, something that would escalate my lifestyle, my family's lifestyle so that we could have some freedom. You know, I spend more time with them, all that great stuff. Um, so, you know, at the time, the only place that you could really find a, a business coach is, is just by looking at your Facebook feed, right? Like groups mm -hmm. weren't really a thing yet. There was really no, um, there was really no like centralized place to find mentorship, you know, or, and, or to look at reviews or anything like that. So I was on my feed and I had been following this guy for, for a long time. And, uh, it was, there was a lot of aspirational marketing going on in his, uh, in, you know, the way he was marketing and posting how, you know, he's helping clients and he's getting great results for his weight loss clients. And he just moved to Spain and he has a British accent. So that, you know, always sounds good. And, um, so I, I was like, look, I, I want to talk to this guy. So I got him on the phone and, um, he ended up like pressure selling me into a, uh, into his mentorship program. And it was going to be 8k. I was like, cool. You know, 8k, I, I don't, we did not have this money regardless of how much it cost, it didn't matter what it cost. We didn't have the money anyways. We were young, we were barely making it. And um, we, uh, it was gonna go on a bunch of credit cards regardless. So my wife wasn't home at the time. And I said, all right, cool, man, thanks. I, let me get off the phone, talk to my wife and I'll get right back to you. You know, we're, we're ready to go. He said, if you get off the phone, it's 12K. I said, 12K, I mean, I have to go ahead and talk to my wife. Like I'm gonna get divorced which is going to cost me way, way more than the 4k spread you just created, you know, in the, in these packages right now. Um, but I said, you know what? All right, I got to do what I got to do. So I got off the call and knowing it's going to be $4,000 more. And my wife being the very, very supportive partner that she is was like, Hey, you know, 8k, 12k, we don't have it anyways. 
we really want this, so let's go. Doesn't matter at that point. So we went ahead and did it, spread across a bunch of credit cards and made it happen. And when I got into the program, the deliverables were really, really lacking. Um, I maybe got like a, a email from him once a week that had like a pre-recorded video on it that was really long. But yeah, so he had given me these, you know, uh, once a week, I got a 90 minute thing with him and I couldn't really get, um, I couldn't really get access to him to kind of go back and forth because he was in the U and it just really didn't work out very much. Uh, I also want to mention too, that one of the things that I wanted out of this program and what he had promised me was I really want to be a better coach. I want to get people fantastic results. I'm here to make an impact. So yes, I wanted to make money and elevate my family, but I also wanted to make an impact. And uh, I will say, you know, the only, the only deliverable that I got and the only ROI that I got was I hyped this poor girl uh, into a $3,000 high ticket 12 week weight loss program that I did not know how to deliver on because he did not give me the tools that I had requested and wanted to, to provide that, that service to someone. Um, so I felt really bad and I ended up actually having to work with her for much longer just to make myself feel good and to make her feel bad about the relationship. And so obviously that's not the kind of client that you want to have. It's not the kind of business you want to run either. So I spent a little bit longer in that mentorship program, didn't get anything else out of it. And I ended up stopping early and I was like, man, I just had a really bad taste in my mouth. I thought to myself, if I had just been able to go somewhere and read some unbiased reviews, you know, and, or talk to some people who had been through his program that did or did not have a great experience, I could have at least made a better investment decision before, before you know, forking up that money. Um, and I was like, it was like a Yelp, you know, situation that would have been, that would have been absolutely amazing for me. Um, and, and there wasn't at the time. So I, you know, I, I went online and I was looking at groups and I was like, man, there's just like nothing here. Uh, you know, someone needs to do something about this. And so um, at the time I was having a conversation with John Goodman and I was like, hey, John, uh, this happened to me. It sucked. I don't want this to happen to other people. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start this. Group. I just want you to know about it. He's like, hey, awesome. I agree. This shouldn't happen to you. I'm going to go ahead and promote this in my community, in the PTDC you know, uh, group. Um, and you know, let's get people in there because I think it's really important. And so I'm still very grateful for him for that. So we, um, I started the Facebook group, called it Fit Pro Mentorship Review, and went ahead and um, launched it. We had like a... a couple thousand people in there within the first few months, um, you know, thanks to John's promotion. And from, from there, it was really just a place that, um, you know, it wasn't paying my bills or anything like that. It was just a place, it was a forum uh, where fit pros can talk about mentors, service providers, software, Facebook ads, experts, courses, like you name it, it can be sold to fit pros. I wanted it to be discussed in this group so that people can learn what's good and what's not great out there. And then they can invest, um, you know, however they choose. Um, and so I ended up, you know, had, had a couple of great experiences with some great mentors that I learned about in that community um, and, you know, really changed my business. And then, you know, fast forward a couple of years later, I left my business exposed to, you know, lacking contracts, letting clients call the shots and run the business, uh, ended up bringing my business down. And I felt, I felt really, really jaded. I spent a lot of time, a lot of money trying to save it um, and actually just let my, let my business kind of go. And I spent the next year and a half. Um, not really contributing to my family, not contributing to the fitness community, really trying to find my place in, in the world, you know, again, mm -hmm. for me, um, I've never not been doing anything. So for me, that was kind of a weird and very hard spot to be. And somewhere around the end of that year and a half period at my darkest place, like I, I've never suffered from depression before, but that, that was definitely what I was going through. It was really dark. I, I, you know, I spent some time running Facebook ads for, for real estate agents just to do something. And my heart really wasn't in that, obviously. And I, I did a little bit of online coaching, but again, I was very jaded. Um, but for some reason, every time I went into this community and just started helping people and talking with people and moderating the group, you know, it just felt really good. Like there was really good energy coming out of that. And so at the end of that a year and a half period of me doing nothing, I was like, you know what? I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what I'm going to do with this group. Um, but it just feels really good when I go in there. So I'm going to start putting my, my energy and effort in there. And what I decided to do is I decided to, instead of waiting for people to bring me the, you know, the coaches that are doing a great job, um, I went out and found them myself. And so I would go out and I would cultivate high integrity business coaches who are doing a great job. I would verify they were doing a great job by making sure that they had great reviews in my group. Uh, and then it wasn't just like a tactic and strategy. Like people were actually getting great results. Their reputation was good. They were good people. And I would go out and I, then I would go out and, f and find people who I could promote in my, in my community so that we can highlight the people who are doing a great job 
and, and downplay and expose the people who aren't doing a great job so that hopefully they're able to actually raise the bar if they want to stay in this space. Um, and that's how it's gone for, man, like almost two years now. I started in December uh, of 2019, really going out there and, and finding and vetting uh, fit pro business coaches to see if they're doing a great job or not, and then deciding if they should be promoted in my community or not. So it's been received really, really well in the fitness space. The, the, my members are, are the most incredible community I could ever imagine. Uh, and I just, I love doing what I'm doing now. So it's just, it's crazy to be here, but it's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. And that's a great story. I love that. Um, you know, uh, I really do so many questions. Uh, and you started that at the perfect time too, right before the pandemic, you know, because yes. then that's when all of these online coaches kind of sprang out of nowhere. Um, so let me ask you a quick question. Since you've been out vetting, like just ballpark and percentage wise, how many coaches that you've vetted have been good enough or met the standards to, to be promoted in your group? So the, the way that I go out and find people initially is that they have to be performing really well in my group without me even having to do anything. So if I, if I see Jim Adams in my group and people are just like, every time Jim Adams gets, gets reviewed, it's just like stellar. He's a great dude. Um, you know, and there's handfuls of reviews about him. I'll go ahead and I'll reach out to some of those people who had left the reviews and just talk about their experience with them, understand what's going on, what their offer was, you know, what the feel was in the program, how it worked a little bit. And I'd reach out to you, Jim, and, and, and we would have a conversation just like this, um, where I would vet you and we kind of like talk and I would just kind of get your vibe. I have a really good bullshit meter. So if anything doesn't feel right on this call, I, I will be inviting you into my community or, you know, moving forward in that process. Um, but I would say like, based on that, based on the way I go about it and not just, not just like fishing, you know, like randomly, um, almost everyone who has been like someone who's confirmed by the group first has been able to get access to the group. Not all of them had stayed because I also make sure that we maintain a positive ratio of positive to reviews, negative reviews that you're, um, you know, that you're still serving clients in the way that the fitness industry needs you to serve clients and so on and so forth. Um, so a, a high percentage of the ones that are that rich in the group are, are, are vetted in a, in a really positive way. Okay. Got it. Okay. So you don't necessarily go out casting a wide net. You kind of see what winds up in your net on your group. And then you see what kind of reviews they're getting, what people are saying about them. Yeah. Or nay. Exactly. I let the audience kind of do the search because I don't know all the products and services out there. I don't know the entire network. I have a really big network, but it's much easier just to wait for members of my community. Like, hey, this guy does a great job. And I'll jump in. They're like, oh, yeah, I've hired him before. He or she's amazing. You know, that's great. And so I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe this is someone I need to reach out to and, and highlight them in my community of, of almost 5,000 people so that, um, you know, people know that, hey, this is a good provider. This is someone that you can trust and someone that deserves your business. Got it. Got it. So of the ones that you have vetted and promote, what are, what are some of the criteria? Because I know there's all kinds of different goals, different reasons why people get coaches, things like that. So what are, what are some of the criteria that you use to, to say, okay, this guy is, or this girl is good. Let's, let's promote them. Yeah. So the first place I started is just an interview like this after having enough review in the group to even have this conversation. Um, I'll have a conversation like this where again, I just, we just chat and I kind of vet your career. If I find in your Instagram or Facebook feed that, you know, six months ago, you overnight had some kind of like mental thing that you needed to be a business coach instead of a fitness coach. And, you know, uh, <laughs> and it was just this overnight thought that you had last minute. Um, then, you know, that typically doesn't work for me, but I really vet people's careers and make sure that there's like a substantial amount of success in the fitness work that they did and now accordingly you know a substantial amount of business success that they've had in not just their own business because i think a lot of coaches talk too much about their own business but i want to know you know have you been successful in helping fit pros do what you tell them that you're going to do um and then i literally in this interview process i will get access to their programs and i'll actually go ahead and vet their programs for the deliverables that they said are on the front end so i'm going through the modules i'm making sure it has some substance again because mine not have substance at all um and so i just make sure that it has the deliverables that are promised on the front end i've also uh i also get dropped in the support communities as well because support is really where like most of the value in a program is going to be right if someone needs something if they need to back and forth you know whatever it is 
that's going to come from the support community. So I also get dropped in there to make sure that the support that's promised on the front end is also being delivered. Um, and again, like if everything is going great and I, and I, I see people's answer, uh, questions being answered and it's like a really lively community and I don't see anybody like loudly complaining about anything right there in front of everybody. Um, I'll go ahead and, and ask them to do a free training in my community to give value to, to my, you know, my members and get them actioning things that, uh, that you're an expert at. So it highlights your expertise as a presenter and it gives value to my community. And then the process just kind of goes from there. Okay, great. That sounds like a great process. Um, and the thing I love about that process is that um, you kind of, you're kind of like a, a sheep herder, you're kind of herding the sheep together, but you're not necessarily doing everything yourself. It, you know, it has a life of its own, which I like. Um, so what kind yeah. of coaches do you have uh, that you vetted that you would recommend? Like, in specific areas like what are the areas where people looking for coaching oh it really depends on where fit pros are at in their you know in their business um but we have like everything from foundational courses that are self-paced that will get you started you know as far as just building a foundation to start an online business um and then we have like you know maybe lower ticket group coaching programs for someone who can't quite afford like one of the large coaching programs yet there is the, the large ticket programs with, you know, we're talking like anywhere from 7,500 to $20,000 for a coaching program. Uh, we also have a course on how to create courses. We have Facebook ads courses. We have specific mentorships that are all like sales specific coaching. So you can get like your, your sales process completely customized to you and what feels good to your audience. We have coaches who specialize in marketing, coaches who specialize in lead generation. So it really varies. Um, but my goal is to really try and, and hit up all of those avenues that, that people need, no matter where their business is at. Because in my group, we have people who have never been coaches before and they're just starting out. And we have coaches in there who also you know, need to be served, but they're operating at, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80,000 dollars a month. And so we're trying to you know, make sure we have resources for for the entire span. Nice. That's I mean, that's awesome. OK, so. Um... You've been doing this since 2019. So if I'm like, say I'm new and I, I'm listening to this podcast and I hear about your group, which is Fit Pro Mentorship Review, and I join. So how do I navigate that? What's the process? Is there a cost? All of that stuff. Yeah, no. So the group is completely free. Um, <clears throat> you also have the option of getting on calls with me right when you get in the group if you want to as far as if you need help navigating the group if you're looking for resources if you need some light business coaching or if you need you know if you're looking for your next mentor and just want some feedback um you know on on some other suggestions or if that's going to be a good fit for you and your business um so yeah again no cost i actually do free clarity calls with my group where i'll get on for an hour with four people and just do deep dives into whatever they need for the business whether it's talking about recommendations or talking about mindset or, you know, lead gen or their bios and, you know, social media profiles and things like that. Um, that's like, you know, my portion of the group. And then there's the group itself, which is just really easily to navigate. You can go in the guide section and we have all the approved and trusted mentors listed. They all have their own guides and in it is their resources as well. So there's over 50 free trainings that we have in the community now that could easily get someone started without, any, without paying anything or, you know, talking to anyone right off the bat. Um, and we also have, uh, a higher, higher value deep dives called master classes and they're only $97 and we have four really great ones around specific topics. Um, one being like, you know, how to use LinkedIn for lead generation. Uh, Vince Del Monte did his uh, SMS masterclass in there. So like there's some specific, you know, two, two and a half hour deep dives from the biggest names in the industry in there as well. And we make it super affordable because we really just want people to get in there and start actioning and getting a great result from, you know, from the value that we put in the group. Nice. And you said those are $97. Yeah. $97. It's just, yeah, that's a no lot brand. less than 12,000. <laughs> yeah, a lot, <laughs> a lot less. We're just trying to make it easy. Yeah. You know, like we want people right. to have some skin in the game and we have to compensate our, our presenters, but yeah, I mean, for, for that money, like, you know, to walk away with two and a half hours worth of, of someone giving you straight value and we don't, there's no flop in my group. Everything has to be value-based. I'm, I'm a really, really big proponent of value, value first. Yeah. I like that. So, it, and the thing I like too about it is like you said, uh, there's probably a lot of members like you who want to become coaches. So it's, it's a great um, training ground for future coaches, right? 
to see how it's done. Are you talking about business coaches or future fitness coaches? Uh, fitness coaches, like fit pros, fit pro coaches. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, there's, again, we, we, we're trying to serve everyone. So we, we have tons of resources. If you're just starting out, it would, it would, it would give you resources to, you know, be able to price your business, market, figure out how to find your niche. Um, and again, some like foundational strategies that you could use to get a couple clients in there. So yeah, absolutely. It's really, really great for, for, for coaches all across the, the lifespan and like the, not the career span rather. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, the world is, is, is very small, um, when it comes right down to it. Cause I had, uh, Daniel Henderson on the podcast and he's a great guy. And, uh, and then he led me to you and then talking to you, about the coaches led me to, and then I was, I actually asked you, I think I asked you some specific questions about Daniel and that led me to hiring him as a coach. Oh, awesome. And so I've been working with him for about a month now and it's been great, you know, Good. cause I, I hired other coaches and to your point, it was, it was a letdown, you know, yeah. uh, I would get on the coaches meeting and there was no structure and they'd be like, ah, well, let's try this. Or how about that? But there was no structure. There was no plan. And with Daniel, it's, it's, uh, it's been the opposite of that. Um, so I've been that. really happy with him. So I can endorse, I can definitely endorse, uh, uh, Daniel, um, on, in your website, um, or your Facebook page, Facebook group, because I've been using them and I've just been, you know, overwhelmed with the amount of service and the deliverables, like you said. So uh, I think it's a, I think it's a great thing. I really do. I think uh, everybody should know about this for sure. So what are your plans uh, going forward for the group? Um, right now we're just looking to grow it. We want to get more eyes on this. There's plenty of resources in there already. We're not really looking for a whole bunch of, you know, more information for people. Um, we want more eyes on this so that more pros are able to save the time, money and energy. Um, you know, I did a lot of other pros, you know, had to lose in order to really learn, okay, like we need to be smarter consumers. We need to not be so into the flashy marketing and we need a place where we can kind of like check the people who are, are marketing to us and go to this group and, uh, and see if they're, if they're the real deal or not. And so right now we're just looking to get more exposure um, so that we can get more eyes on the group and get more fit pros that they need from, from, from people who are serving the fitness industry the way that it deserves to be served. Yeah, I agree. I mean, because that's why I started this podcast is to, to help trainers make that transition to successful um, business ownership. You know, uh, because we have a lot of trainers out there who don't know about business and they wind up becoming something else other than a trainer because they can't yeah. make a living as a trainer because they don't have that business acumen. Right. So I, that's the reason I started this podcast. And, and then we preach all the time that nobody gets to the top alone. Eventually, you're going to have to get a mentor, reach out and get some help and ask for some help. And when you do that, you want that source that help to be reliable. So uh, I think you offer a valuable service. Um, well, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's it's cut and dry, man. Um, and I think it's awesome. Um, I think definitely more fit pros should um, know about this and I will do my best to get the word out. Um, so we always wrap up with three questions and this is my favorite part of the show because we get to peek behind the curtain of AJ Morton uh, and and his strong beard game. You got a strong beard game, my friend. <laughs> Thanks, it's, man. it's good. Um, so my first question is, um, what has been your most successful failure? And by that, I mean, at the time, it seemed like a devastating loss you weren't going to be able to recover from, but you were able to take life lessons from it that propelled you to greater success down the road. Yeah, that's a really good question. So, um, uh, just for, you know, brevity, I kind of skipped over this part in my story, but I usually tell it in, in the long version. So when I let my fitness business, when I was in the process of trying to save my fitness business, um, when it was kind of going down, I also kind of took my eyes off of my uh, relationship with my wife. And so that took a massive decline too. And it really came to a point where I had to choose between letting my business continue to do what it seemingly was going to do or 
you know, save my, you know, try and save my business or like let my marriage go down, which, you know, for me, was not an option. That's the most important thing mm-hmm. in the world to me. So I just kind of surrendered to that and let, let the business go down. Um, and if I hadn't, if I hadn't done that, you know, uh, what happened next would not have been able to happen. So what happened next was I, uh, my wife took the reins of our, of our finances in the family. Cause I was just really jaded and I needed to break. All right. I've been working for, I've been really busting ass for like five years. My wife hadn't worked at all yet. Um, and so she's like, one of the things that, that helped save our marriage actually was that we had been investing in me constantly for the last five years. And, um, you know, she is not meant to be a stay at home mom. So she's like, I want us to invest in me. I want to go into coaching and I want to take this family where it needs to go. Uh, which at the time she wanted to move us out to California. And I was like, look, you know, I have this in-person business. I don't know how we're going to do this. And so the in-person business fell. Uh, and when it did, my wife hired an online business coach to help her create, a, a, you know, an online business. And so she went ahead and did that. The first one actually was very much like mine in that it was another kind of fast talking British woman and uh, a $12,000 program with absolutely terrible deliverables. Um, and she actually even admitted wrongdoing and promised us a refund. Uh, and we were supposed to get that in uh, Christmas of 2018, never got that. And, um, <laughs> so we hired another business coach for my wife and she like single-handedly built a six figure business in a very short amount of time and moved us, uh, and our family of four out, out to California and gave me the space and the time to really reflect on what I wanted to do and how I wanted to contribute to the family and to the world and to the fitness community. And uh, if I didn't have that time, I probably would have jumped into something. Um, I don't know, like I was considering having a regular job, <laughs> which I never had before. Or like I said, like, you know, uh, running Facebook ads for real estate agents, nothing just really felt right to me. And so if I didn't have the proper time and space to really think about what I wanted to do, I would not have refocused my efforts to to the group and fit her mentorship review and realized that um, there's a lot of impact to be made here and this group is really, really needed. Um, And I probably wouldn't have been able to put the the proper time and attention and energy into it uh, if my wife didn't give me that much space. So that was definitely a a loss that was turned into a massive win for us. Yeah. And um, thank you for sharing that. And that's a that's a that's been a theme on this show. Um, yeah, I call it the elephant in the room. I think I call it the, the conversation in this industry that needs to be had, but nobody's yeah. having it. And, and that how entrepreneurs, fit pros, give their clients everything. And they give them the best that they can offer. And then they come home and they give their, their loved ones and their family the worst of it. You know, exactly. They have nothing left to give. And then so they wind up with a failing business and a failed marriage. And I think it's, I think it's really common. Uh, at least in the fitness industry. So uh, I think it's a conversation that that needs to be had. So I appreciate you saying that. Um, yeah, absolutely. And, sure. Yeah. And I, I, I went through kind of the similar situation. I wasn't able to save my marriage, but uh, I wish I would have been able to. But so I appreciate you sharing that. Um, yeah. My next question is, since you've been in the fitness industry, what has been the biggest surprise that you've had to deal with that you did not see coming? And COVID is exempt because nobody saw that one. <laughs> COVID is exempt, but but the interesting thing, I'm just going to go with COVID only because it brought something really interesting out in my community. So, you know, I really started putting value into the group in December of 2019. And, you know, I, I got a couple mentors under my belt at that point. I'd been promoting them in the group and everything was going really well. And then March happened and COVID happened and lockdown started happening everywhere and the group had this really you know i know it's a facebook group but like you could feel the energy in it and it was like there was this lull there was like this darkness this dark cloud over it and people weren't really saying anything it was it was kind of crickets and i was like man what's going on like i need to, I need to figure out what people want <laughs> i need to i need to do something about this and kind of stoke people up because they can't not do anything right now they they, they feel like they do but they have to do something mm-hmm. and so i was like I, I went into the group and I was like, Hey, I feel like people need some more connection right now. I just feel like everyone's lonely. Everyone's locked up in their homes. Everyone's super afraid. Why don't we do something? And so I, I put together uh, bird fireside chats where once or twice a week, I would have a group meeting, you know, zoom call, obviously for free, just for people to get on and just talk and connect. And it was just amazing to me. And it was really surprised. I didn't see coming was like, 
the willingness that people had from all over the world to just want to get on a call and connect with some guy who started this Facebook group a couple of weeks, a couple of years ago, and you know, had like just started putting value into it. And so it was just really interesting to me to, to, to see the camaraderie and the need for community in a time where everything was kind of up in the air and everything was kind of, you know, everyone was kind of uh, uh, very fear-based and everyone went, went dark. Um, and so, I don't know, for me, I just, I, I like seeing that little bit of light in, in a time where, um, you know, everyone else in the world was kind of dark. It was just a really nice thing to have going on in the group. And for myself too, because I, I wasn't leaving my house either. So I needed yeah. that same connection and I was able to find it in, in my community. Yeah, uh, I like that story. And I like any story that, because there's a lot of good things that came out of COVID. Yeah. Everybody likes to bitch and moan and complain about COVID. And yeah, it's, it's, it was a pain in the ass, but there's a lot yeah. of good things that came out of it, if you really think about it. I agree. I know for me, it was like, you know, I don't know how long up until March of 2020, I told myself I need to slow down and, and kind of take things in stride. And then that forced me to do it. And I was like, okay, yeah, this is, this is nice. And, and ever since we've been coming out of that, I never want to get back up to pre COVID speed, I know. you know? And so that's yeah. something that I, I found that was positive from COVID. So I like any story that, you know, has something positive coming out of that. Totally. I agree. Yeah. It, it was interesting. Um, because I don't know, for me, it, it didn't like, it didn't cause anyone to have bad times in their business. For me, it, it just exposed everything. You know, it, it's kind of like when I lost my when I lost my business, it was because I, in the background, I was being very risky. I wasn't saving money for my business. I didn't use contracts. I let the clients call the shots, call the rates, and everything like that. So for me, it wasn't a surprise that one summer when all the moms had to change their schedule up to meet their needs, I lost a whole bunch of clients because they just I didn't have class times for them, and I was hit. So. Yeah, I just think it exposed people's lackadaisical ways of running their business. And hopefully people are being tighter and operating as an actual business and not just this like freelancing, you know, everything's always going to be okay. Kind of yeah, thing. going like, by you the seat to, of your pants. Yeah. <laughs> right. You have to, you have to be a business. You have to protect yourself. Yeah. Always. Yeah. It reminds me of the Warren Buffett quote. You, you don't know who's swimming without a suit until the tide goes out. Exactly. And the tide went out and there was a lot of people skinny dipping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a good right way yeah. to put it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then my last question is, is where do you go for your personal and professional development? Uh, luckily, I, you know, this network that I, that I have, you know, been able, been able to cultivate, um, you know, in reaching out for mentors, I've used it for myself too. And I've created some amazing relationships. I just go right to the mentors who are promoted in my group. And they're like, no, but, but helpful because we have this amazing relationship. And so um, I utilize my network and I recommend everyone, everyone do the same. You know, some really great people out there who are, who are willing to give their time um, and their energy, you know, if you ask them. So, yeah, I've just been able to utilize that network and forever grateful for it. So a massive, massive help for me. Yeah. Yeah. You have the, you have the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That's for sure. So uh, which you've created yourself. Um so where can people find more information, get in contact with you, all of that good stuff? Yeah, totally. So uh, you can find me on Facebook, just AJ Morton, um, or you can just go right to my group at Fit Pro Mentorship Review, just search in the groups. Um, yeah, we're, we're all over the place. So feel free to, to come in. Fit are more than welcome to you. We don't allow business coaches or staff of business coaches in the group. Pretty much anyone who sells anything to FitPros is not allowed in the group because one, the group clean and the group uh, loudly really appreciates that too. Because if someone's in the group who's not supposed to be, they get called out right away, and I remove them. Um, I PayPal my members for helping keep the group clean because it, it means a lot to me that you know that's that space really safe for them to leave reviews and not have any fear of retribution or you know saying something to somebody. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. High school Feel games. Yeah. Okay. Uh, awesome. Well, all of those links will be in the show notes. Just go to trainergym.net, click on this episode with AJ and all the links to contact AJ and the Fit Pro Mentorship Review will be right there. AJ, this has been great, man. I'm glad we could finally connect. I know there was some <laughs> scheduling gymnastics most on my end, 100% on no my end. So I appreciate your flexibility and your patience with that. Uh, because I really did want to get you on. So I'm glad and I love to reserve the right to have you back on soon. 
Oh, absolutely, Jim. I'd be happy to. Thank you so much for having me on today. Seriously. Yeah, absolutely, man. It's been great. All right. Thanks. Well, have a good rest of your day in uh, California there. All right. You too. Thanks a lot, Jim. All right. All right. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.